was too enthusiastic. Macrame. 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 Hi. Macrame. Yeah. Hi. This is it. Hello and welcome to another craft group. Um, so today we're going to be doing macrame. Macrame. <laughs> macrame. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you say it. But yeah, so it's going to look like this. No, we're not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be able to make a couple of hanging planters from them. Or we're going to, it's really simple, we're going to do one version um, which is really straightforward. It's got a couple of simple knots that will take you about 5-10 minutes to do. Um, and then we'll do a slightly more complex one, so if you want a little bit more of a challenge, then you can give that one a go. Um, so we're going to send out everything you need um, to do one. So we'll send out a couple of lengths of your um, string or rope or twine, <laughs> whatever you, whatever you fancy it. calling it. Um, so if we that, send out enough of that for you to make one. We'll also send out a ring which you attach your planter to and a couple of sort of fancy beads to just make it a little bit more decorative. So if you followed Vaughn's tutorial recently where he made some succulent pots with little plants in, um, this would make a really good accompaniment to go with that because you could make one of these planters and pop your little succulent inside. These are really popular at the moment. Um, you see them popping up on TV and on social media quite a bit. It's a bit of a yeah. trend at the moment. Um, but yeah, it might be a neat idea. If you haven't looked at Vaughn's succulent tutorial yet, then maybe go back and have a little look. Um, some really good tips in there for how to make a nice little succulent of your own. And then you could make your little planter to put it in. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the simpler of the two designs. Um, so you're going to need a door handle just to hang your ring on while you're doing it um, and start by just putting your four pieces of cord through the ring until you're about halfway along with four pieces. Then you're just going to tie a simple knot at the top of the cords just below the ring just to secure them in place. Next you're going to get two pieces of cord that are adjacent to each other and tie a knot about four or five inches from the top. Then you're going to need to tie the same knot about the same distance from the top for all of the remaining pieces of cord, so two at a time. And when you're doing these knots um, try and keep them as equal as you can in terms of distance from the top because it makes the overall design of the hanger um, a lot neater and also keeps the plant pot in place better. So next you want to just separate two of those pieces away from the other two and then get two of the adjacent cords or cords that are next to each other and tie another knot. I'd say about two or three inches from the other knots. And then you continue with that then all the way round with each adjacent piece of cord.
next you're going to need to get your plant pot, whatever plant pot you fancy putting in this hanger. Um, as you can see those knots there have created a sort of zigzag shape or design which looks really pretty. So once you've got your pot in place where you want it then that's all you need to do is tie a big knot then with all the cords at the bottom just to secure the shape of the pot then. And there you have it. It's a lovely little design this one because it's really straightforward um, but it looks really really effective. So we'll move on to the second one now. So this one starts a little bit differently to the other one, um, a little bit more complex. So you start with your ring um, on the handle as you did in the last one. But this time you're just going to get one piece of cord and fold it halfway along. Then you're going to pass that loop through the front of the ring and then pull the rest of the cord through the top of the loop so that it should then create a little bit of a knot at the top. Then all you need to do is do exactly the same with the remaining three pieces of cord. So again, just fold it halfway, put the loop over the front of the ring and round the back. Please excuse me here, I do make a bit of a mistake, I do it the wrong way round. And then as you did before, pull the cord through the end of the loop. I just want to apologise for the paint all over my hands, you'll have to excuse that. <laughs> so once you've done that with all four cords, you're ready to start making some knots. So the first knot is going to be with the left hand side, so if you get your four cords on the left and split them as I'm showing there, and then you're going to pass the left hand side cord over the middle two but behind the last one so if you can see that I've gone I've looped the left one over the middle two and under the furthest right and then I'm looping then the right hand cord under all of those pieces and through the loop on the left hand side and then you just tighten that then and push it right up to the top so that is the only knot we're actually using so you literally just repeat that so once you've got the hang of it this design actually becomes really simple so again I've just looped the left hand side cord over the middle two and under the right hand side cord and then past the right hand side cord up and through the left hand side loop and you just repeat that four times until you'll start to see a little pattern forming on the top then so now you're going to do the same on the other side so grab the four cords on the right hand side and do the same again so left hand piece of string over the middle two under the fourth one and then fourth one loops down and through and then again you just repeat that four times so that it's equal with the left hand side
you should have started to sort of get the hang of this knot now um, and what you're going to do is get the middle four pieces of cord now instead and do exactly the same again so make four knots again left hand string over the middle two right hand string under and through and then you just repeat that um, until you're happy with the, the length of that pattern so left four pieces of cord with four knots then the right hand side pieces of cord with four knots and then the middle with four knots I repeated this until I had about three or four inches of pattern So once you're happy with the length of that top bit, you can now start to make some knots that are going to hold your plant pot. So you're going to be doing exactly the same knot again, but this time a little bit further down. So get two cords from each side, um, so two co four cords that are next to each other, two from each side, and start to make that knot again about two or three inches from the last knot. And then just repeat that four times again. Now you're going to do exactly the same with the remaining four chords. The previous video try and um, get these knots as equal as you can so that it yeah just creates a nice balance now for the last um, few knots I decided to change it to the straightforward knot that you did in the first video um, just to make sure that it's nice and secure here you could add some decorative beads, I decided not to, um, but that might be a quite a nice place to put them if you fancied making yours a little bit more decorative. So now for this last bit, um, same as the previous video, if you get the two cords adjacent to each other and then tie a knot. Um, I tied mine about, again, about three or four inches from the previous knot. What I would do here is just when you're making, when you're taking those two cords, make sure you start with um, one that's on the left and one that's on the right so that you're making sure that the two sides do make a link then. So you should now have four knots and what you're going to do is again get two knots that are right next to each other and get their two cords that are right next to each other and tie another knot so you want to tie again three inches maybe from the previous knot and um, tie another one 
So like the, the video before, it creates this sort of zigzaggy um, pattern which looks really nice once the plant pot is sitting in it. Once you've tied all four knots at the bottom, um, it's now time to sort of end the plant hanger. So I'm going to get my succulent jar which Vaughan so kindly made for me and I'm going to pop it into the hanger so that I can see where I need to tie the last knot just to make sure that it's nice and secure around the sides of the pot. So once you've measured where you want the pot to sit, um, you can start making the very last knot. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first of all you want to grab one of the cords from the bottom that you're already holding and loop it up. And like you can see there, I'm holding it all together with my left hand. Then you want to grab another cord and start to wrap that really tightly around all of the cords in your hand. When you start wrapping this part around, just make sure that that um, piece that you've just looped up stays sticking out at the top because you're going to need that in a bit. And then just keep wrapping that until you're happy with the length of the knot. So I did it, um, I did about 10 loops which I felt was plenty um, and then in a second I will show you then how to finish that knot to keep it in place. So now once you're happy that you've wrapped that around tight enough and for as long as you wanted to, you need to get that piece of cord and pass it through the loop that you made earlier. Then what you're going to do is pull the cord at the top up so that it pulls that loop really really tightly around the rest of the cord. And as you can see there that creates a nice tight knot at the bottom and that's it done then. So that's all you would need to do now is trim that cord at the top so that you can't really see it anymore and you're pretty much done. I also decided to trim the bottom of mine because the ends were quite uneven um, and I think it just makes the whole thing look a little bit neater and tidier um, and more finished. And that's it done. So that's all you need to do now is put your plant pot in it and find where you're going to hang it up in your home. The beauty of these is that you know you can um, make them as long as you like, you can make loads of different patterns, you can do them in different colours. So it's a really versatile little um, activity to do and learn a new skill. So 
thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed and um, if you want to look at some different patterns if you go onto youtube there's loads of videos different tutorials on there that follow different patterns there's probably more complex ones on youtube if you wanted more of a challenge so if you would like to get involved if you want us to send you out your own pack in the post let us know or let your worker know and we can get that sent out to you yeah we hope you enjoy share your pictures we'd love to see what you make